Hello. To integrally owners, tank is a very special word. I had a fuel leak when filling up. I fixed it temporarily and now I'm going to remove the fuel tank and fix it properly. First, you must disconnect the fuel pipes and the wires inside the car. This is easy to forget. With the pipes and the straps removed, I can lift the car off the tank. That's the uh, vent pipe there hanging down. I'll, uh, I'll remove that. It's quite new, so it's still flexible. Now, underneath, I'll just take that down. So I can lift the uh, car right up now and leave the tank on the ground. Now if we have a look underneath the car, that's the diff cage, now all that is coming down. The back axle, the diff, all that's coming down. But we'll do the tank first. Right, back at the tank, that's the filler pipe, which uh, removed, that's quite new. And the, uh, they're the Walker's uh, stainless steel tank straps marked up. This pipe vents the two tank sections. It goes over the top of the prop shaft and it must be removed before dropping the tank. Right, this is the fault. The leaking plastic vent pipe elbow. The clear pipe is uh, still quite new, so it's flexible. They can, be, they can get really stiff and be difficult to remove. So we'll undo the Jubilee clip and pull that off. Now, that there is the Jubilee clip that I put on to secure the cracked nut. A previous owner has tried to seal this with uh, some kind of black sealer. Uh, I need to get inside the uh, tank. But I must drain the tank first before I go inside and catch that elbow. I drained the tank outside. Right, next we got to remove the fuel pump. Clean around the opening so no, no bits go in the tank when we pull the pump out. It's a bit of a squeeze, but push the pipes in and the unit will come out in one. This pump will be replaced before we put the tank back.
this cracked nut is a common problem. It is a simple repair, but it can't be done with the tank in place. And believe me, I've tried. I had an idea that this nut could be replaced with a plumbing fitting. So I went round to the plumbers, but um, it won't work. The plumbing nuts are BSP, British Standard Pipe Fitting. They're not metric, so they won't fit. So back to the computer and onto AE car. Let's have a look. There it is. Nut fuel tank breather. Right, let's get one ordered. First, I need to clean all the old sealer off. I don't want any to uh, drop in the tank. Here's our a car delivery. I ordered a new fuel pump as well. The new Walbro pumps are so much smaller than the original. Right, here's our item. This is what we're looking for. I did find an O-ring for this, but uh, there is rubber seating already on the fitting. Oh, blimey, that's a big nut. Um, I think it actually yeah, it's 32 millimetre. Pipe points backwards. So that's it, all done. In the next episode, we'll fit this new fuel pump. So, bye bye, and thanks for watching. Bye.